So, if you look on my channel, I am doing the um, Bakugo one shots, and also some of these one shots do have two parts. I think one of them has a third part. No, <laughs> sorry. But um, I will be compiling. Oh my god, compiling all of the Bakugo ones, the Bakugo ones together, and that this person has. So I want to take. I want to give credit to this person. I cannot say their name. I think it's Kaimaru12 on Wattpad. So please, it's not my story and I don't know this person. So just a disclaimer. So yes, now let's begin. <laughs> Sorry for that. Your POV, walking through the peaceful forest of my home village. In the shining sunlight, I smiled as I looked for somewhere to hunt for food. The leaves crunched underneath my feet, the wind howling in my face. I gripped my, oh my god, quiver, which holds my arrows, and grabbed my bow with the other hand. Suddenly, I see scared birds flying away from the nest. I wonder what scared them. I thought to myself, but the sound of my stomach grumbling made me forget about it and focused on hunting. Soon enough, I see a river ahead. I walk there and take my bow and arrow to get ready to shoot a fish I see. Focus, Yin. Focus. I froze. A sudden noise caught my attention. Aiming behind me, I shooted. Who's out there? The silence was answered, yet I felt piercing eyes follow every movement. My eyes darted to different areas of the forest as I started to panic. Then, suddenly, from the distance, two pools of red appeared in a large bush ahead, a low growl following after it, then emerging two large horns and speckled of gold on top. A long red, I think a snort, snort or whatever, snout came out, showing its pointy razor sharp teeth. That could tear anything apart in seconds. I figured it what, out what it was now. A d dragon? I, care, I carefully pulled my bow and arrow behind my back and rest, of the terrifying and dangerous creature crawls out of its hiding spot. If it weren't for any scary appearance and deadly features, I thought it would. W Ugh. I thought it was the most. God, I can't say big words. <laughs> I think intrusive thing in the world, since they were rare around where I live. I crept slowly and silently. T it crept. Oh God, I'm reading too fast. I'm sorry. It crept slowly and silently towards me, baring its teeth at me. So what did I do? I ran for my life. <laughs> I jumped into the river and that reached my ankles and focused in the overside of the forest and disappeared from the dragon's eye. A thunderous mix between a roar and a growl scared the living daylights out of me. As I kept, but I kept running. Loud, thundering footsteps were trailing after me, but I didn't dare look back or I would be dead meat, literally. But as if the gods didn't like me today, I tripped over a branch, a stupid branch of all things. As I started to get up, a growl interrupted my, my movements and made me froze. Slowly, I turned around and came face to face with the dragon. Oh, shit, was all I could think. I backed away from it and ended up with a tr tree to my back, blocking my chance of, of escape. I trembled under the dragon's eyes as it came closer and closer until it was a few inches away from my face. I didn't know what to do, so I closed my eyes and welcomed death with open arms, awaiting a gruesome way to go. Yet, it never came. I felt something went on my face. I peeked my eye open and saw 
that it was licking me? What the hell? It laid its enormous head on my lap and believe it or not, started purring. I, start, I stared at it confused in, in fear of as all just an act. Slowly, I raised my hand and put it on it gently on its snout and, it st and started to rub it. Surprisingly, it whacked its scaly tail and fluttered its wings. A puff of goldish smoke appeared out of nowhere. It started coughing and felt the weight on my lap to just disappear suddenly. As I opened my eyes, a figure was sitting on my lap, a man with the same red eyes as the dragon. The man, however, was not a man because it had wings, a tail and horns on its head, pointy claws on its hands and sharp elf ears, and two pointy long teeth came out of his mouth. His chest was bare, but scars and scales on it, and he wore some odd-shaped necklaces around his neck. A cape was on his back, covering half of his tail. The dark blue jeans and gray boots he also wore. His face was appealing as hell. But did I? But all I did was stare onto into his eyes, with a blush on my face. Huh? Was all that came out of my mouth? The man before me smirked, revealing its non-human teeth and smirked. Surprise, mate, he said in a deep voice that could hypnose any woman. Did I hear that right? Or did he say mate? Uh, mate? Sorry, but I don't follow. I slightly smiled in confusion at him. He smirked, flutter, uh, flattening into a small frown, but the smirk returned. He tilted his head an inch closer to my red face, his mouth right next to my ear. His hand cupped my cheek and said, You're my mate, a dragon's mate. I just realized now that you've probably been hearing the buzzing of my computer. <laughs> I'm sorry.